Hey everyone, I'm Ava and today I'm going to be remaking some of my own clothes and accessories in Barbie doll size. I thought this would be a fun idea and I do like to think that I have some pretty awesome clothes so we're going to remake one of my outfits today for the dolls. So to start, I want to make these pants in miniature. I really love these pants. They might look really basic but I think these cuts on the sides are really unique and cool. And I've actually never showed how to make doll jeans before on my channel, so this will be a first. I have this jean pattern here, and it's what works best for me. I based it off a pattern I found online somewhere a long time ago, and I've modified it a lot since. And this pattern has just worked best for me, and it seems pretty straightforward. I made this into a printable, so if you guys want to make the same jeans, check out the link in the description. So I have this jean material that are actually from some old jeans. Obviously, this dark blue part is not going to match my actual jeans, so I'm going to use the part on the inside instead and I'm basically just gonna lay our pattern out on top of the fabric and trace around it and then I'm gonna trace that out again but I'm gonna flip it around so we'll have like the mirror image of this one Then I'm gonna take the two pieces of fabric and line them up so the good side is on the inside. And then I'm gonna sew a line that goes down here and around the curve. And I'm actually just gonna make little snips that go up to the thread, being careful not to actually cut the thread. From here, I'm basically just going to open the pants up and twist them to kind of form their pants shape. So now this part that's sewed up here is going to be the front and I do want to make pockets for the jeans. So with my pencil I'm basically just going to draw out some pockets. So that there's a little bit over an inch between them and then I cut out one of them. I'm gonna fold that in half so that I can make sure I cut out the other pocket exactly the same. I'm also making them a little bit bigger than I want because there is going to be a piece of fabric that's going to go over top here. And when I sew these edges together, it'll also take away a bit from the sides. Then with a scrap piece of that same fabric, I'm going to cut out two squares and glue them behind the pockets. But when I glue them, I'm going to be careful to not glue like right along this edge here because I still want the doll to be able to put their hands inside the pocket. And I'm just using some fabric glue for this. And then I should have done this before I glued on the back pieces of the pockets, but I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the edge of the pocket so that it won't fray. And then I'm gonna cut a really small piece, put some glue on the edges and glue it into the pocket over here for the watch pocket. I'm gonna take the bottom of the legs and fold it over and sew it. So now we'll have a nice clean hem on the bottom of the pant legs. So now for actually sewing this together, I'm gonna flip this around. So the good side is on the inside now. And then I'm gonna sew together these rough edges. And then I'm gonna flip this inside out. I tried on a doll and figure out any adjustments I need to make. I think personally, I'm just going to sew in at the top here a little bit more, like kind of come in a little bit more to kind of cinch in the waist a bit more. Once I'm happy with the jeans, I cut a long strip of the fabric that I'm gonna fold in half and then sew along this top edge, just like that all the way around. And once that's sewed, I just flip that up in the back, I'm going to fold over and hem down these rough edges. And then I'm going to sew on a snap fastener. Oops. So that the pants can open and close. And now I'm making the cuts on the side of the jeans. Just carefully cutting through both layers. So I made five of them in total, just like on my actual pants. And I'm going to repeat that on the other side. And now because we literally just cut through the thread that we sewed earlier, I'm gonna carefully flip the pants inside out. And I mean very carefully, so that we don't make things worse. Oh my gosh, I made things worse. So I flipped this out and some pieces did come apart, but that's kind of to be expected because there's literally nothing holding them in place now. But now that we have the cuts made, I'm going to just sew on these pieces individually making sure that they won't come undone. So that might take a little bit. <laughs> and once that's all sewed up, I flip them inside out again. 
and there's probably a better way to do what I just did there, but you know what? That's all I could think of, and it did work. And then just to give these rips a bit more texture, I'm just gonna go in with a needle and kind of just roughen them up a bit. Here are how the rips look, and I think they do look pretty similar and close to mine in real life. But now I want to add some little belt loops. So we just cut some really tiny pieces of denim and put glue around the edges. And I'm just going to glue them onto the pants with the fabric glue. I put two in front of the pockets and two behind the pockets. And now with some gold acrylic paint and a toothpick, I paint on some details. This is basically just drawing on fake little stitching. And then I have these little nail art pieces that I've always liked using for buttons. So I have this little round silver one in here. And because my actual jeans have a silver button, that's what I'm gonna glue on here. So I have this black crop turtleneck here. It's pretty straightforward and it's really cute. So I think I can easily remake this in doll size. I have some black stretchy fabric and I'm gonna fold it in half so that the good side is on the inside. Then I have this pattern here. This is pretty much the same pattern I used to make the top in this video right here. So if you wanna get the measurements for this, check that out. It's pretty straightforward, except this one is just a little bit shorter. But anyways, I'm going to line up the top of this pattern with the fold here. And with some white chalk, I'm going to outline it. And then I'm gonna cut it out, making sure to go through both layers. Then I'm going to unfold it and I'm going to fold over and glue down these edges. You could obviously sew this, but gluing is just a lot easier. So I'm just gonna use some fabric glue. And I'm gonna fold this back so the good side is on the inside. I'm gonna sew here and here. And once that's all sewed up, I'm gonna flip it inside out. Then I'm gonna fold it in half and make a little cut here for the neckline. And then whichever side I don't like as much, I'm gonna make a cut all the way down. And then I'm gonna try it on the doll. It's definitely a bit of a tight squeeze. I probably could have sewed a little bit closer to the edge to make it a little bit bigger, but we will work with what we have. In the back, I'm gonna sew on some Velcro so the top can come on and off. For the actual turtleneck part, I have a long strip of black fabric that I'm gonna fold in half. And I'm gonna sew it along this top rough edge of the neckline. And then I flip that over and now let's put it on the doll. Okay, I'm really happy with how that turned out. It looks just like mine in real life. I love it. This is the belt that I have in real life size and it's just a black belt with these two gold hoops. And I have this little Chanel belt here that I got sent from the Etsy shop Dollsy doll. And it's super cute and pretty similar to the one I own. Of course, this one has the Chanel logo and set up two little loops, but I think it's similar enough and I really like how it looks. I put the belt through the belt loops that we made. I just broke that. But because the belt can't fit fully around the doll because it's more for like right around the waist there, I have this clear elastic that I'm just gonna loop through here and kind of into itself. And then use that to latch the other side onto. It's not the prettiest thing, it really isn't, but the back in general isn't very pretty on these pants, so oh well. And I think that looks pretty good and pretty similar to the one I have, or at least similar enough. As for shoes, I have these really cute kind of like platform boots. They're lace up and they're so cute. I love the little gold accents on them. So to try to replicate the shoes that I have, I have these boots here. I've had these for a very long time. I don't even know or remember where I got them from, but I think if we just paint on a couple gold details, we can kind of pull this off. And then I'm gonna place those onto the doll. Oopsies. Oops. Oh, I just smudged everything. That was not dry. Wow, it literally covers up like all the detail I just did. Nice. This is the purse that I picked out. It's kind of like a pinkish kind of color and it's a crossbody with this chain and then this 
other piece of fabric at the top here. This purse is definitely not the same, but pretty similar. It's definitely a bit more of a pinkish color, but it does kind of have this gold piece in the front here. However, it is definitely not a crossbody. So we're gonna make it into one. I'm gonna cut the little loop on the chain at the very top to separate it. Then I take these bigger loops and loop them in on the ends. Then I cut this skinny strip of pink cardstock. It's definitely not a perfect match to the purse, but we're working with what we have here. And I'm gonna put one end through one loop, then fold it over and glue that down. I did that with the other side as well, and now it's a crossbody purse. And that's how it looks on the doll. And I think the last thing I'm gonna do is switch out her hoops for these bigger gold ones because I have some gold hoops in real life. So that's what I'm gonna be giving her. These ones that she's wearing right now are probably more accurate to the size, but I just like how these ones look better. And so this is the final look, and I think it turned out really great. Things definitely aren't perfect. The pants are a bit of a different color along with the purse, but I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I do think it is pretty similar to my own outfit. Also, look at these working pockets. I love that. And the belt through the belt loops. Amazing. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit and if you like the idea of me recreating my own clothes in miniature and if you'd like to see more of that. And also make sure to comment what's your favorite part of the outfit. Mine has to be the jeans. I love these cuts on the side and I wear mine in real life all the time. So naturally I'm gonna love them in miniature as well, if not more. And now before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Leah Davies, julie and that's my vibe thank you so so much for supporting the channel and remember if you and a chance of getting a shout out all you have to do is subscribe to the channel click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag dd squad and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video thank you so much for watching and i'll see all of you in the next one bye